Greetings, pod fans. It's day 18 of Pod Vahida. Pod videos himself every day in April. And to start us off today, I have to explain the fact that when I was younger, like childhood to teenage years, I read a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean this was before I had, like, you know, unlimited access to the internet, so most of my spare time was spent reading books. And because of this, it seems that I'm really bad at pronouncing words when I see them written down. Because when I would read, I would just, like, fly through things and not think about stuff. I would literally, the first thing that popped into my head for a, a new word, uh, that would that would be it. That's that's how that word is now pronounced. So, about, like, six months ago, when um, I got into... K-pop and Korea things all together. I was told to watch a, a K-drama, which is a Korean television show, they're all ridiculous and stuff, called Descendants of the Sun. And that show stars a K-pop man uh, from the band Shiny. So the guy's name is spelled O-N-E-W. I looked at it and I went, oh, his name is 1W obviously. Which didn't seem too odd to me because K-pop people, they've got some strange names like G-Dragon, Rap Monster, Lisa, I don't know. But in my head, I was calling this man 1W for the longest time. And then I said it to someone, and they started laughing. Because it's not 1W, it's on you. It's it's all just one. You don't have to add spaces where they're not necessary. But in my head, 1W is still his name. That's mostly due to stubbornness and just being an annoying person, but, uh... I, yeah. Like, I've had this with quite a few things in the past, like... In the Night Angels trilogy, um, I read Roth Ursul. Not Ursul, Ursul. Roth Ursul. And there have been countless other ones that I can't actually remember, but they're definitely there. So yeah, if I'm ever like reading anything out and I pronounce it wrong, uh, I apologize, it's just something that I'm bad at. Also, I assume that at this point you've seen this t-shirt, which is a bit big for me. I haven't washed it yet, so every time I do that it makes me look really wide and square. But responsible people take steps to prepare for a nap. It's to do with what I'm doing right now, the, the uh, Michael Aranda's daily vlog. Uh, I bought this and a hoodie which I'll probably wear it some other time, but uh, yeah, it arrived literally when I got in the door and I was like, I'm putting that on! Which is pretty exciting, I like it. I've been tracking the package for quite a while and it stopped in America and didn't tell me where it was. Like, it left San Francisco on the 6th of April, it's now the 18th, and it arrived here. The shipping still has not updated, but we'll leave it off. But yes, this was another pointless look into the life of me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Yesterday, the little graphic thing for, um, Tales from Beyond the Shift. Uh, that took me an hour to actually make the goddamn thing, because I'm still very new to After Effects, and then it took nearly another hour just to render it so that I could use that in Premiere Pro. So that was, that was pretty, pretty interesting. I'm really enjoying using After Effects for things, it's just like, that was a four-second clip. Uh, like, sure, it was using, like, 3D objects and lights and shadows and, like, all this kind of crazy amounts of stuff, but four seconds. This is two hours of work. <laughs> well, you know, an hour of work and then an hour of waiting. But <laughs> that was... That was an interesting one. So honestly, if you watched yesterday's video, I hope you enjoyed how that looked. I thought it looked really cool. But, um, yeah, that was... Won't be doing that every day. Okay, that's all I've got to talk about for today. Uh, in two days, there might be something very interesting in the video. Ooh. I'm pretty hyped for it. It's going to be different. And uh, I hope you all get hyped for it too. But I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sloan.